Hey guys, welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. And today we're going to be looking at the Movie Heroes number two uh, Super Battle Droid and going over some of the uh, pros and cons of this character and taking a good detailed look at it. Uh, but before we get too much into the character, let's uh, take a look at the packaging that it comes in. And this is your Movie Heroes line of packaging. Um, you have the uh, reddish card on the bottom, unlike the Clone Wars, and this will be a darker blue if it was a Clone Wars. Uh, you can see the Super Battle Droid is stated here, and then the sequence, uh, MHO2 for Movie Heroes number two. And on the back of it, you get a description of the uh, Super Battle Droid and the um, action feature with the firing projectile arm that comes with it. A little bit closer on the movie still pick. And also a brief uh, or a partial view of some of the characters that are in the Movie Heroes line, along with your Galactic Battle Game advertisement. And that pretty much constitutes the packaging. Um, it also comes standard with a, uh, a tan or beige uh, character stand that will uh, also hold your Galactic Battle card. Uh, it comes with your Galactic Battle Game instruction sheet for those of you who would like to know how to play the game. Um, and of course your trusty black die that everybody loves along with the profile card. And it does have a really nice picture of the uh, Super Battle Droid uh, movie still pick and on the back you get an action picture um, along with the uh, galactic battle game stats for this particular character and as for um, accessories the character comes with um, these blaster effects see that real well Anyway, it fits on the normal arm. I'll show you how that works here in just a moment. And of course, it comes with your interchangeable firing projectile arm. Your missile, of course, loads in here. And there, this is the firing button that you would press. And I'm not going to shoot this across the room, but uh, it would fire out like that. This being your projectile roughly around three inches long and of course it just fits into the end like such and locks in you can see that it's quite large um, you'll see when it's attached to the actual droid how large it is but for right now let's take a look at the character and I'm going to use my camera here and zoom in just a little bit where we can get a little closer uh, let's try it about right there okay now this uh, is a repack from 2004 uh, the blue saga line the one of the differences was though that that version had an explodable body where parts would fly off this one just has a solid torso uh, and one of the, the worst things I do not like about this character is its lack of articulation. Uh, the only articulation that you have in this character are swivel shoulders and swivel hips. And that's it. Now as far as the accessories go, you do get blaster effects that you can apply to the arm like this. Just apply that to the arm and looks real well. Um, this is the way I prefer it as far as displaying. But now the younger kids that like the action feature would, uh, would pop this arm off. As you can see it just comes with a Uh, as you can see, just a split in that uh, connects into the side of the character, and that's what it looks like. 
and then of course you have your arm with the same type of end that you just pop into the droid like this and voila now you have your and you, as you can see it's as long as the entire body uh, you can forget it if you want to let this figure stand and display it like this uh, without some sort of support because it's so heavy and off balance uh, you cannot uh, have him standing uh, now this may just be my figure but the peg holes in the feet are over -larged. And they do not fit snugly on the character. You see that they are quite large, and so it doesn't even stand on the character stand very well. However, I more than likely, will be displaying mine with the normal arm. And there is a the way they have got the legs bent. You can see here. Uh, you know, you can kind of line it up and the arms have to be down a little ways and just kind of get the center of gravity where it can be balanced and then it doesn't look that bad but anyway guys that's pretty much the review on the uh, movie heroes super battle droid with the uh, interchangeable firing projectile arm uh, just remember no articulation other than swivel hips and swivel shoulders and that you can exchange the arm out the pluses are uh, the detail looks very well but anyway, guys, that is the Super Battle Droid from the Movie Heroes line. I hope that you have uh, uh, been able to make a decision on whether this would be something you would want to purchase or acquire. And I hope it helps. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. May the Force be with you.